What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Wavy Boy CJ Slash Corn, man. I'm back with another vid, man. And today, we gonna be reacting to banned episodes of SpongeBob. Now, there's some episodes that I've probably seen. I'm not sure. I'm only 20. I'm only 20 years old. So, make sure y'all like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. Banned episodes of SpongeBob. To find a bunch of those so called controversial episodes, and I'm going to determine if they really are or not. Midlife Crustacean, probably the most infamous episode. Mr. Krabs is having a midlife crisis. He believes he is too old for everything. He perceives the world treating him differently due to his age. At the Krusty Krab, he overhears SpongeBob and Patrick talking about their party later that night. Mr. Krabs weasels his way into an invite and goes out on a night of fun. Mr. Krabs quickly finds out that Spongebob and Patrick are losers and don't actually do anything useful <laughs> or fun. Once Mr. He just now figuring this out? Like, what? Mr. Krabs confronts them on this. He leaves. But Patrick suggests one last thing. A panty raid. Mr. Krabs becomes oh, intrigued what? and agrees to partake. They climb into a house. And oh, I remember this episode. <laughs> I remember this episode. And steal women's underwear. Yes. And shockingly, it was his mother's house. It was his Thus mama. His mother's underwear. Yep. So, I don't think I need to explain why this was banned. It's a pretty adult theme, and not the most <laughs> appropriate, obviously. And the jokes throughout the episode are also more adult than usual. This episode was pretty out of character for Mr. Krabs, but especially SpongeBob and Patrick. They have never once showed interest in women, and here they are acting like they do this all the time. It's a Is that a good thing or a bad thing, not showing interest in women? Comment down below what y'all think. Fine episode, and it was one of the more iconic ones for me. I definitely don't think it needed to be banned, though. Rockabye by Valve. SpongeBob? Yeah. For me, I don't think that episode needed to be banned either. I'm not even gonna lie. That's not that bad. And Patrick find an abandoned baby clam and decide to raise it and be parents together. Patrick wants to take on the role of mother. But SpongeBob insists that he cannot because he doesn't wear a shirt. Patrick then accepts the role of father. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. They're thus making SpongeBob the mother. The ep Whoa. The episode then plays out in the typical old school idea that the father leaves for work and then leaves all the housework to for the mother. mother. Patrick continuously promises to help out with the clam, but never does. Even going to parties well into the night. They fight and argue, and Patrick decides to up and leave back to work. We find out his work is watching TV and eating ice cream at his house. So they giving off, <laughs> so they giving off deadbeat dad. Bro, this is not how every dad acts. Come on, Nickelodeon. While they argue some more, the baby clam is about to jump out of the window. Both. Whoa, the baby clam is about to commit. You know what? Okay. Both of them fail to catch it, but that's because it can fly. It says farewell and leaves, and then Spongebob and Patrick come to the realization that it was hard, but it's worth it. Patrick ends the episode suggesting they have another. The controversial aspect of this episode is that Spongebob and Patrick portray a couple. First of all, no. They are playing on the stereotype of fathers that provide, yet are absent, and mothers that do all the thankless work. I mean, they quite literally say that at the beginning of the episode, assigning roles of mother and father. I feel like this theory would have more credibility if there was Spongebob plus Patrick equals clam. Any illusion whatsoever to romance, but there is none. So by no means should this episode be controversial. The greats... I mean, I see why it's controversial, but yeah, I don't think this needs to be banned. And I remember this episode right here, the great snail race. Snail race. SpongeBob learns of a snail race that Squidward has entered his purebred snail, Snelly. So he basically bullied Gary into like, he basically pushed Gary. I don't think this one should be banned, but let's, let's to see. Enter Gary into the race, but all Gary wants to do is watch TV. SpongeBob then takes on the role of a super demeaning and abusive coach. He trains Gary's little heart out, so much so that Gary is unable to even begin the race. Squidward Snail takes the lead. Meanwhile, Gary and Rocky, Patrick's rock, hasn't moved from the starting <laughs> position. After much verbal abuse from SpongeBob, Gary begins the race and goes into overdrive, and then begins to catch up on Snelly. After a minute though, Gary's eyeball pops, and then another pops, 
and SpongeBob begins to regret his demands. Gary's engine then bursts and skids off the track like crazy, damaging himself and his shell until he crashes into a wall. SpongeBob goes to comfort his half-dead snail. Snelly sees this and decides to go to Gary in a fit of love. Squidward understandably becomes disgruntled and Rocky somehow wins the race. How the fuck did a rock win the race? The controversy with this episode is the obvious animal abuse. It is clearly apparent. True. True. But Spongebob is portraying as of a, f a football coach, a lily football coach. He's pushing them to be great. So I'm, I don't see why this one should be banned. I'm not even going to lie. But it's also the moral of the episode. Uh, hey, don't abuse your pets or this will happen. I don't understand the controversy because they are by no means encouraging you to yell at your pets. This one doesn't really make sense to me. Squirrel jokes. Squirrel jokes squirrel are the jokes. only kind of jokes Spongebob finds success in at the Krusty Krab Comedy Night. The squirrel jokes are the fish version of blonde jokes, with the main punchline being that they are dumb. Of course, his friend Sandy Cheeks, who is a squirrel, witnesses these jokes and feels offended. After her multiple attempts to get Spongebob to stop, she invites him over to the tree dome where she feeds into the stereotype that she is stupid. SpongeBob quickly learns from his mistakes <laughs> and goes back to comedy night, making fun of all species. So the claim is that the squirrel jokes are code for racist jokes. Honestly, what? it's a little understandable, but only a little. So I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy. That's that's a little crazy right there. SpongeBob is making jokes and being derogatory to a species different to his. So when you put it like that, it does make more sense than most of these on this list. However, again with the moral thing, Spongebob writes his wrongs and makes everyone happy. It teaches a valuable lesson, and just on that, it shouldn't be banned. Selling out. In this episode, a bunch of powerful executives waltz into the Krusty Krab and offer to buy it. Mr. Krabs originally declines, but then is offered a heaping load of money, and then quickly accepts. He retires and says a laundry list of things he wants to do. Within a few mere hours, he completes everything on his list. Meanwhile, at the Krusty Krab, actually, it's not the Krusty Krab anymore, it's Krabby O Mondays. It has turned into a sports bar type of thing, and SpongeBob and Squidward are essentially prisoners. The Krabby Patties are no longer made by SpongeBob. They are gray sludge that is painted with color and pumped out of a machine. Mr. Krab. Ew, what the freak? Comes back to work as a busboy and ends up exposing the place, destroying it, and then rebuying it. I think this episode is great and the message is right in your face. And I love it. Of course, that's why it's controversial. That's crazy. But why is it controversial, though? People supposedly didn't like the messaging of big business being bad. I have to question, were these people's complaints or big business disguised as people complaining? A plus for this episode and should never, ever be banned. Spongebob's last... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't really get why that was banned. Spongebob's last stand. What is this? Plankton is creating a super highway that completely plows through jellyfish fields and forcefully relocates all of the jellyfish. This super highway will also go right over the Krusty Krab and lead straight to the Chum Bucket. SpongeBob and Patrick go around protesting it, being portrayed as hippies at one point. The entire population of Bikini Bottom goes against <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick's movement. Mr. Krabs is desperate, and as a last ditch effort, he wants to sell Plankton the Krabby Patty secret formula. When Mr. Krabs arrives, the dislocated jellyfish infiltrate the chum bucket and sting Plankton. The other jellyfish wreak havoc in Bikini Bottom and they cause destruction. SpongeBob speaks out to everyone on TV and all of the citizens of Bikini Bottom form an alliance to help destroy the superhighway, restoring jellyfish fields and Bikini Bottom to its natural state. So this is not only a fantastic episode, but doesn't seem problematic at all. This episode raises awareness for the environment and the preservation of animals. Um. Last I checked, I don't think that was a bad thing. Ink Lemonade, the worst episode on this list, not because it's super controversial or anything, but because this episode just sucks overall. There's no... I don't really understand how the other episode was controversial either, but it got banned. I don't know why. Quality, there's no jokes. I was so bored watching this one, and it still baffles me how hard SpongeBob fell from grace. This is also one of the most hated episodes in the entire run of the series. In this episode, Patrick is running a lemonade stand, but it's actually just water. There's a super nasty scene where Patrick rips off a band aid and puts it on a rotting lemon gifted to him by Squidward. Patrick then Ew. uses that nasty lemon to make his lemonade. SpongeBob comes by with a megaphone and scares Squidward into inking into the lemonade. Squidward runs and hides in embarrassment, and Patrick sells the ink under the moniker of Black Lemonade. It's an absolute hit. With their customers increasing, Patrick needs to get more ink. 
and the only way to do it <laughs> so he sets up this giant tent outside Squidward's house filled with stuff to scare him and after a thousand unfunny over exaggerated faces later Patrick gets a ton of ink Squidward breaks through the tent and learns they have been selling his ink he blows away Spongebob and Patrick and creates his own but learns he's unable to create it unless he's scared once he is threatened he inks all over the entire mile long line everyone is then disgusted and throws up inside Squidward's house it's not Ew. a great episode by no means. The reason for it being controversial is because of how Patrick torments Squidward into inking. I mean, isn't tormenting Squidward like the longest running joke in Spongebob? That's what I I'm like. Really see how yeah, that shouldn't have got banned. I guess they usually do it by accident, and this time it's intentional, but this episode raises no red flags. Sailor Mouth, one of the more iconic episodes. Sailor Mouth is the episode where Spongebob and Patrick swear. So Spongebob takes out the trash, and on the dumpster, <laughs> some special swear I remember this. He reads them out loud. What is he? Loud, and then is censored by dolphin sound effect. Catfish. He then teaches Patrick these words and goes through the Krusty Krab shouting them. Mr. Krabs reprimands them and teaches them about swear words. SpongeBob and Patrick leave and play a game of eels and escalators. SpongeBob then swears and Patrick decides to tattle on him. Patrick then also swears. The two race to the Krusty Krab and tattle on each other. Mr. Krabs punishes them both to paint and then Mr. Krabs stubs his toe and swears. Then the three of them are punished to paint Mrs. Krabs' house. This does have a more adult theme than other episodes and it's right in your face. But the moral by the end is to not swear. So I think it redeems itself. No, it shouldn't be banned, but it is understandably a little controversial. Yeah, I understand. Splinter. I think we all remember. Yeah, I'll one remember this one. Comments, unfortunately, SpongeBob gets a splinter while at work, and he spends the entire episode trying to get it out and hide it from Mr. Krabs so he doesn't get sent home early. Squidward eventually lets Mr. Krabs know, and he pulls the splinter from his thumb. This episode is controversial because of how disgusting it is. It Ew. genuinely is so disgusting. Yeah, that's disgusting. From watching the splinter enter SpongeBob's thumb, to watching Patrick further hammer it into his thumb and then infecting it with garbage, and then at the end where Mr. Krabs Ew. Out and drenches him in pus. Were they really this low on ideas? There's a few funny parts, but this episode was so disgusting, and we don't need to unnecessarily expose kids to this. I don't yeah, that ain't gonna lie, that's humor. crazy. Call it that, is funny by any means. This one should be banned, and I think that is kind of the consensus. Just one but Yeah, that one should definitely be banned, but I'm gonna end the vid right here, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. Um, if y'all want the rest of the vid, comment down below and I'll give it to you. But yeah, I don't want the video to be too long. So it's your boy, um, Wavy Boy CJ, man. And I'm out, man. Peace. Until next time.